What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we got some market talk, and then we got the new series later on Tetsukubo Bros gameplay. If we lose, we're going to put up some snipes for you guys. So, um... Before you get into the video, make sure to drop a like. Let's get 100 likes in this video, bro, because 100 likes is going to show support to the channel. And I'm going to give away MT on Twitter, so make sure to follow my Twitter down below. Not only that, bro, 100 likes in the video will also make me really want to post that onto the Kubo gameplay. It's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty edited, and it's going to be a pretty good video. So I'm going to put some work into that. Hopefully, it shows up. Um, it's going to be a nice little series. We're going to run Pick Down Giannis, Antetokounmpo, Kostas, Antetokounmpo, Amethyst, and Bronze, Denasis. I'm probably going to go off in the same game for Denasis. Before we get to the video, we're in his ad. And then, yo, let's get into some market talk. Honestly, a lot of stuff are up, a lot of stuff are down. I'm going to talk about the stuff are down first because, honestly, it makes sense. So, as you can see, the Prime cards keep dropping that drop tomorrow. So, it's pretty interesting. It looks like we're going to get no content today. I'm thinking Flash Super Packs tomorrow. We're going to get Flash Friday. Um. Okay, so I just want to talk about a couple things. So if you locked in KG, I feel like it's not worth it. I actually versed a kid of KG last night. I won 22 to 4. He had KG, Big O, and Ben Simmons. Fully evil. Beat him 22 to 4 with Tyler Hero, Giannis, and um, who was the other player? Ben Simmons, fully evil. Um, kid got destroyed 22 to 4. He was actually good. It's just I clamped him up because I'm cheese. Went undefeated, triple threat, got the worst rewards. Um, two tokens, 200 MT, and 200 for the MT. Have not seen Richie Guerin, Marcus Camby. I played thousands of games, but other than that, I'm gonna say if you want big O, 307k is not really a bad price. If you want Dirk, 200k is really not a bad price either. This card is low key good. I actually really want to get this card. As you can see, my MT is up there. We sold a couple things you might see in the Hunt to Kumbo video. But um, if you guys do know, we got the market crash sort of, but we pretty much are going to see a market rise. So market is definitely still crashed. And here's what you guys should expect. I'm expecting another market crash sort of tomorrow. Obviously, some of the top cards aren't going to go down, but some like non-rare pink diamonds. Like one card I want to talk about is Hakeem the Dream because he's actually a buyout. He has never been a buyout. He's been around 130K, 140K for a really long time. And to see him at 94K, I kind of want to pick him up. I feel like I could possibly make 30K MT off this. If you see Hakeem for a buyout, he's one of the best centers in the game. We're probably going to get an Opal one later on. But to see some cards like Hakeem and possibly Zion at a buyout here and there is something you should definitely take in consideration. Um, if you have the MT to invest, I would obviously recommend... Oh, that is mine. That is actually a snipe. I just got Zion for 88k. That is actually a snipe. I could probably sell him for 110 in a couple days. This Zion card is actually a beast. Low key. Um, we're probably going to get an Opal Zion card hopefully soon. Um, if so, this 100k is going to be bought out soon. This card has unlimited contracts and shoes um zion's honestly a good person to watch hakeem's a good person to watch bosh is a good person to watch bird pink diamond's a good person to watch and obviously if you're sitting on the opal filter you could catch a ton of w's and bro i'm sorry if my hair is out of whack like i can't get a haircut bro everything's close around me so no haircuts for me bro i'm about to have long ass hair i'm gonna look like a bum but it's okay um so let me talk about this so I honestly heard that a lot of Amethyst went up in price, like moments of the week. If you have any moments of the week Amethyst, you could make thousands of MT. And I'm going to show you some cards where you can make some thousands of MT. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably have a couple Amethyst just sitting in the moments of the week. I don't because I sold all of mine. But a lot of them are rare. Like if you have Rudy Gobert, a very good card to cop and sell. Um, also, man... 
a lot of these cards. Like, the Levine set, I don't know if it goes for much. Let's see. Because they did drop Opal Levine. But some of these cards still go for a decent amount. And, like, this Josh Richardson, you could probably get for 5 k That's why I say on the Amethyst filter, it's so money. Like, this Spencer Dimity is still 50 k If you have some of these cards, you can make thousands of MT for Pink Diamond Levine. I would 100% recommend. I have Galaxy Opal Levine, so I will honestly not be going for that. Like, this set right here goes for around 100 tokens. This set isn't that expensive. I feel like you could get some decent amount of tokens for the um, this is not, it's 50,000 tokens. This one's for Lillard. This one's for Doncic. This one's for Trey. Um, Jokic, this one's actually not a bad one to do, even though this Jason Tatum is actually pretty expensive. 100 tokens for this set. Booker's going to be expensive. But yo, guys, right now, all I'm going to say is what you should do, you should probably sit on the diamond or amethyst filter. There's actually a lot of stuff going on in the market, and I feel like we're going to get a locker code sooner or later. Not only that, we're probably going to get a really OP locker code coming soon because we haven't had one since Christmas. We haven't had really, really OP locker codes. Last year, they dropped Opal locker codes. Once they drop Opal locker codes, you're going to see some crazy stuff happen. I don't know how I missed that tonight. Not only that, bro, um, like I said, some pink diamond cards that you want to pay attention to, I'm going to go over all of them right now. So... Pink Diamond cards that are over 100k, you always want to pay attention to. Like, Paul George, you could possibly get for 100k. Right here, bro, Aaron Gordon's finally going over 85, under 85,000 MT. And, yo, that Zion sold already. So, I could sell my Zion for around 110, make a quick 12 to 15k profit. It's a pretty big W. Even if I don't, if I sell him for 100k, I'm still going to make a solid 3k MT. So, obviously, the 10% reduction does come into value. But... Right now, I feel like since Pink Diamonds are losing value, like Christian Latner, another good filter, in my opinion, is Spotlight Sim Buyout. Because this RJ Bear and Tyler Hero card are actually insane. I played with both. They are absolutely amazing. This Tyler Hero card is the best jump shot in the game. I've never had more greens with one card in my life. He is actually the snatchback god. If you actually need a player to shoot... And you have 100 DK. This card is the best player in the game. He's actually probably one of the best cards I ever played with, ever. I run him, Giannis, Evo Simmons, or him, Giannis, and Levine, and they're unstoppable. So I literally 100% pay attention to this filter. This filter is actually really good. John Morant and my boy Tyler Hero are actually that good. So if you get one of them for 100K, they're actually really rare. Definitely try it out. Let me know how it works. Um, there's a lot of stuff to go over, and honestly... I'm just going to keep saying it over and over again. The Ami filter, diamond filter. And honestly, if you want to invest in some Amis, I'm going to show you some to invest in. Obviously, the Chahil Okafor because he'll probably go up to 2K. Honestly, he'll probably go up to 1,800. Honestly, I don't think he's going to go up that much. I think that the Amethyst filter has set its boundaries. And yo, Eric Paschal is one player you also want to pay attention to. He actually rose from 1,100 to around 1,500 already. So that's one card I would also say is very deadly, and you should definitely pay attention to. Amethyst filter is kind of killed, not gonna lie. Like, since there's so many Jahils and Jokic's and Pashals, it's kind of tough to snipe on it. But you never know what could pop up. A lot of moments cards go for a ton, and they do sell. I've sold many. I made a lot of MT. Also, a ton of these cards, if you did not sell... You can make thousands of MT if you pick them up. You could possibly pick up some of these cards for the low. I know some sets go for more than others, especially Hawks because of Cam Reddish. Everyone loves Cam Reddish. He's a hype beast card. You want to pay attention to this set. Like this card, 3,800. Let's check out these silvers that I have. This guy's 3K, bro. This guy is 3K. You could probably sit on the Hawks filter, pick up a ton of cards for around 1,000 or less. Flip them for 1,000 plus. It's a pretty good method of mine. Even the Sapphires. Like, this Sapphire John Collins is 2,800 MT. I probably got him in a pack. But, yo, you guys kind of understand the deal. And, honestly, I really can't say anything else. Like, market still crash. Just going to give you some market tips and get ready for that Antetokounmpo series. I'm so excited to record that. As you guys know, I'm the biggest Giannis fan. Literally the biggest Giannis fan. So, without further ado, man, that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to follow my Twitter. Make sure to drop that like. And honestly, if you need MT, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. If you have problems with my sponsor, hit me up on Twitter as well. And yeah, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.